So I've made a really simple script here where I have a player that can run and shoot and their particles attached to his projectile. So I've got the profile running right here at the bottom and you can see that when I run, if I shoot, there's a little bit of lag spike you can see certainly in game, um, but also just to be clear, these giant spikes uh, are corresponding to those lag spikes caused by the particles. And that's because Godot has to load the particles or, or uh, compile them basically at runtime. So what we're gonna be doing is uh, essentially eliminating that lag. We're gonna be taking it all and moving it to the start of the game. So uh, let me go ahead and show you how to do that. So the first thing we need to do is go ahead and go into any scene that has these particles. Here I have this one, uh, and we've got a particles 2D scene right here. And we'll go down to the material, and you can see uh, if you right click on this, you'll have the option to save it, and you're gonna need to do that. And I'm gonna go ahead and make a new folder for this, and we'll do these. And I'm gonna call these materials. Okay, okay and uh, green projectile, Trez. And then I've also got it for the explode scenes. We're gonna do the same here. Got this, save, uh, projectile explode. And again, we're gonna just save this into materials and save. So you see those are saving as .trez files. So that's important. We've gone ahead and saved those files. We're gonna go ahead and make a new script. And this is gonna be the script that basically tells the game to spawn these at the beginning of the game and all the lag will be concentrated there rather than uh, you know whenever you first call it. So just go file new script in the scripts tab. Um, we're gonna call this particles cache, although it does not matter what you call it. And we're gonna go ahead and change this to a canvas layer. Just like that. Uh, let's go ahead and delete these real quick. We are going to need the ready function. I'm gonna say var materials equals, and then this is just going to be a blank uh, list for right now. Uh, and we're also going to add our materials here. So I'm going to say var, uh, and here what I want to do is go down to the uh, search tab in the file system and search dot trez, and we'll get those dot trez files there. I'm going to say var uh, projectile particles equals preload, and then you just click and drag this right here. Uh, and we're just going to do that for the other one as well. Now that we've done that, we're going to go ahead and add those to this list. So we're going to say projectile particles, and uh, then here, this, okay, do that, and we'll say projectile explode particles. Okay, now we've got those in a list. Okay, so now what we're going to go ahead and do is tell this script to take those particles and compile them. Or, or, I'm sorry, these are not the particles themselves, these are the information they need. So we're going to tell the script to compile those for us so we can concentrate all the lag right here. So essentially what we've done here is that for every material in this list of materials, we are going to make a new particles node and uh, we're basically just going to, for that part, oops, there's a little bug there. Um, for that particles node, we're gonna go ahead and set that material. And then, so we're essentially telling Godot, like go ahead and compile this material. And so we're gonna do that. So what you'll have to do is, is for every single material in your game, you will have to go var and then, you know, put my particles or whatever, you know, I can't spell, but yeah, you put my particles and then you just simply add that one, um, to your list here. So that's what you're gonna to need to do, and this will handle that. Now there's one more really important thing that I, I kind of wish I did earlier, but we're gonna go ahead and we need to make this a global script or a singleton. So you're gonna go into project, project settings. Actually, I don't even think I've saved this yet, so let me save this. Okay, we're gonna go into project, project settings. We are going to go to auto load, and we're gonna go ahead and locate our particles cache script, click open and we'll just name it Particles Clash and click Add. Now, we can go ahead and run this here. Oh, there we go, sorry about that. And you can see that there's no initial lag on that first uh, thing, but the lag is all pushed to the beginning. So now that we've gotten that done, there's one more optional thing to do, but I highly recommend it, and that is to make a loaded variable. And so basically, once we've surpass the lag we can say loaded and this is really helpful for instance if you have a title screen with animations and it's pretty hard to see here right but once you start to have a lot more than just these two particles like in some of my games I have something like 15 20 particles the amount of lag that accrues at the beginning can become pretty substantial 
Uh, so, um, basically what you want to do is make a, two new variables are gonna be var frames, set this equal to zero, and we're gonna say var loaded, which is a Boolean value, and we're gonna set this equal to false by default, not face, but false. Okay. Then down here, we're gonna go ahead and do function physics process. And we are going to say if frames greater than equal to three, we're gonna say loaded equals true. In fact, we're also going to say set underscore physics process false. I'll explain this in a second. And then here we're gonna say frames plus equals one. All right, so uh, what you saw in the beginning with the profiler was that uh, when we basically instance one of these and compile, it causes the physics frame to take longer. Usually a physics frame takes uh, a 60th of a second, right? Because there's 50 frames per second. But when there's lag, it takes much longer. So what we're doing here basically is telling it to wait three physics frames because we're adding uh, the physics process runs uh, this whole whatever's underneath it once per frame, right? We're adding one frame here each frame, and then if frames is greater than or equal to three, or there has been three frames passed, which is about a 20th of a second, right? Then we set physics process equal to false because we don't want this wasting energy all the time. Uh, and we also set loaded equal to true, okay? Now, the way you use that is whatever scene you have loaded, if you go to run, right? And so here I have my title screen loaded. So we can go here. You go into here, and whatever you'd have in the ready function, you replace with this. So you go ahead, and we're going to go ahead and delete that. I am going to go ahead and take this, X. Okay. And you're going to go ahead and replace it with this. So uh, this right here is just some tweens that move uh, these up. There's a reason these move up when the game starts. And then we also have a physics process here and we're saying if particles cache dot loaded. So you can access this script because we made it in auto load, right? In the project settings. Uh, if you don't know how they work, this is one of the wonderful things. You can access them from any script. So we just type in particles cache and it's gonna reach the script and we can check the variable loaded. And this is, if you don't know, the same thing as saying um, equals true. It's exactly the same. So if particles dot loaded, right is true we're going to set physics process equal to false so that way we only run this once and we don't start running this over and over again we're basically just putting whatever animation we have in the ready function here so that way it doesn't start until that's ready and uh yeah i mean like i said you won't see that be beneficial in you know if you've only got two particles but once you get up to a lot that is uh you know very beneficial so that's going to be about it for this video thank you guys so much for watching if you found this helpful, please go ahead and drop a like and comment below. And, uh, you know, consider subscribing. Thanks so much, and uh, have a great day.